this is Dr. Jessica Hockman. In this week's video, we're going to talk about constipation, how to prevent it, and how to treat it. If you know what to look for, constipation can be treated early and easily. Keep in mind that every child is different when it comes to their toileting habits. Some children may have a bowel movement after every meal, and some kids may actually have a bowel movement every few days, and all of this can be normal. However, with actual constipation, children will experience painful, hard stools. Take a look at one of my favorite charts called the Bristol Stool Chart to get a visual of what a healthy stool looks like. What you don't want is types 1, 2, and 3. This resembles constipation. You can also tell it's constipation because it's so hard that you could pick it up and throw it. The goal is to have a Bristol 4, 5, or 6 with the ideal being type 4. Notice that it looks smooth and resembles a soft-like sausage or a snake. Now there are many causes of constipation in children and I think it's really helpful to be aware of some of these common times. First is when babies transition to eating more solid foods and more cow's milk. Another common time I see kids experience constipation is around toilet training which is why it is so important to wait to toilet train your children until they show signs of readiness. And thirdly, a common time that I see kids get constipated is when they are starting school. A lot of kids are fearful to use the toilet at school. And so what happens is they get the urge to go and then they resist that urge to go. And this in turn leads to a buildup of stool in the large intestine and rectum, therefore leading to constipation. The good news is that for most cases of constipation, it can be treated easily with some lifestyle changes. Tip number one, make sure and eat a diet high in fiber. This includes eating plenty of fruits and vegetables. One helpful trick is to add plenty of stone fruits to your diet. That includes plums, peaches, cherries, and apricots. Think about fruits that have a pit in the middle. These fruits are high in a sugar called sorbitol, which makes it easy to go to the bathroom. You can also start by taking these fruits in the juice form and diluting it with water at a one-to-one -one ratio. Tip number two, make sure and drink plenty of water as this will help the stool pass. Tip number three, limit how much cow's milk you drink. It's helpful to have less than 24 ounces a day. Tip number four, it's helpful to give your child plenty of unhurried time at the toilet. One tip is to have them sit on the toilet for five to 10 minutes after eating a meal. After eating is a great time to try because the gastrointestinal system is ready to go. Tip number five, to reduce straining at the toilet, it's helpful to have your knees bent. So it might be a good idea to try a stool or something like a squatty potty. And lastly, tip number six, if diet and lifestyle changes aren't helpful, consider trying a suppository or a laxative, but make sure and do this under the guidance of your pediatrician. I'm going to post more helpful tips and tricks down below. This is Dr. Jessica Hockman. I'm hoping that after this discussion on constipation, everything comes out okay in the end. Pun intended. <laughs>